Okay, basically there's Notion spreadsheets now. Got a little info from Rose HQ that you're allowed to embed their stuff in Notion HQ very recently. So I'm gonna make some example, you know how my videos go. I'm looking at the pricing of Rose. It is free for unlimited people with 10,000 integration tests, which means that an integration test is the execution of any spreadsheet function from an integration or from using the functions get, put, or post. Automation, frequency means every hour, so it allows to do things, automations per workspace, five, and then workspace sheets, unlimited, but bread sheet storage is only 500 megabytes. This is very interesting because then it jumps up to $59 a month. I'll have to check out and see what exactly makes this pricing structure make sense. So when you go into here, it gives you a nice intro situation. I'm just gonna jump to a template. I'm not, I'm not messing around here. I make a new, I'm just gonna make a new spreadsheet here. So I'm gonna start with a blank one and see what's up. Welcome to the rows editor and rows spreadsheet are organized in pages and tables. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Cool, so actions, what does an action do? Find the email of a person. Interesting, a little bit of automation in here for sure. This actually is pretty interesting too from an integration standpoint to get off topic, but seeing how different things did from a metric perspective. It's just gonna do some testing to see how these things work. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a table here. So month, income, spending, net income. So just to see what it is. So I put a date in there and it popped up a date. So like two, one, 22, that works like that. Can I add rows pretty easily? I can insert rows below. Just like this, right clicking and doing it, highlighting multiple and inserting multiple. Can I do this? So I drag this down, it'll keep the same thing. Can I do a find and replace? Control, I cannot do a find and replace, but that was with the keyboard shortcuts. Let's see if I right click on it. Oh, you can do conditional formatting, which is pretty good. Okay, so like, let's just do an example for three months here. If I highlight these cells, see if I can change the styles here. More formats, okay, so we got date and time. We can do date and time here, date like that, just time. So that gives us a couple different options. So I'm gonna put down 5,000, spending 3,000. Then you do equals this B2 minus C2. Okay, let's change these numbers to B, currency in dollars, perfect. And then if I wanna change the formatting too, I can change the decimal amount right here, and then I could put Conditional formatting, formats, or color, conditional formatting. If this value is greater than zero, let's make it green. Add the rule. So let's change this to D2 to D4, or just D2 to D2, update the rule. Okay, it works like this. And if I drag this down, it's applying it to the range actually, so I'm gonna put it to D4. Okay, so then if I do 5,000 5, and then 2,000, it should stay green. Then if I do 5,000, and 6,000 should not be green. And then I can add another rule to that same date range of D2 to D4. If it is less than zero, make that red and that should work. So very basic Excel functionality in here. But what's quite interesting to me is that it actually has things like VLOOKUPs. It has if, so it has even if error, it has search, it has like the majority of things. and. As you'll see here, what's interesting is there's a bunch of different ones where you can connect things like you can search things in HubSpot. You can do slash Google and you'll see a bunch of the different things come. Custom search restricted to Google. So this takes some APIs to the next level here. And just a, a check out of a bunch of integrations that exist. Rose company search, find information and contact data of leads and companies. Maps, YouTube, get insights about YouTube videos and channels. Facebook ads, this is very important if you're running an ad agency. Let's see if there's Google ads. It's Google Analytics, which can pull in Google Ads data. So very interesting stuff here. But if I take a template and look at this example, marketing budget, I wanna use this template, just put it in my spreadsheets. What if I wanted to take this and move it somewhere? So if I go to the share tab and do shared privately, you can copy this page and go right into this marketing budget page in Notion. If I paste this and create embed, it doesn't automatically work. So actually what you have to do, notice that I clicked the share link and not that. So if I go to embed after sharing privately is enabled, something pops up here. So I go here, I copy this, I do slash embed, paste it in there, and then boom, this spreadsheet comes right in. After you embed it, you'll see that you can actually highlight some stuff like this. And while you're not able to do anything crazy, 
What you are able to do is if you get more of a chart and go here to the reports and charts section and like a template, for example, you'll see when I hover over this in here, it works. But if we do the exact same thing, make it visible on live, copy this, slash embed it. You can have interactive graphs within Notion with hovering. And this is really good for reporting reasons. Say you have client deliverables on projects in Notion and you don't want to send it to external things and you want to keep it within the pages, this is a great alternative. Rather than like having images on it where you can't interact with it, this shows us really good information and this could be really great for sharing client projects and the data that come along with them while using Notion, which is perfect because I have a client project dashboard I'm going to be sharing with you soon. But before that, make sure to check out this video on how to improve your Notion even more.